Hey YouTube, sorry my video was frozen at the beginning as usual, but for not as long as it normally is. So today I'm bringing you a my first day at a new job makeup tutorial. As you guys know, I was uh, hunting and searching for a job and as of yesterday I was hired at Jersey Mike Subs and I'm really excited because it's almost like coming full circle because my very first job ever where I got a W-2 and was on a payroll was at Charlie's Grilled Subs. And this summer is probably gonna be my last summer um, working in a job that isn't in the profession that I'm going to college for. So after this, I'll be a teacher. So this is like coming full circle, my last summer working, you know, a job that isn't being a professional teacher. So yeah, I'm excited to work at Jersey Mike's. I start to day and I'm really excited and I kind of recorded the makeup I did for when I was going job hunting and um I just didn't like how it came out because it was my first time recording in this new space because as you guys know school is over I already took all my final exams and stuff so I'm at home now so I was just trying to get used to the space and like how I'm gonna sit and stuff and it's still not 100% comfortable but I feel more at ease filming here now and like it's not as awkward so let's go ahead and get started with my first day of work makeup as you guys know this is a sandwich fast food place um yeah so it's nothing extravagant but um you guys know me i like to look my best no matter where i'm going and what i'm doing so as you can see my face is already cleansed and moisturized and we're going to go in with a foundation I haven't used in a while because of that whole Revlon scam. So I've been trying not to use Revlon products. But this used to be one of my favorite foundations for the summertime because of its long-lasting power. And today I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay 24-Hour Makeup in 440 Mahogany. And this is the Combination Oily Skin Foundation. I mean, formulation because I have combination oily skin so I'm going to yeah I haven't used this in a long time just going to put a nice glob right on the top of my forehead and I'm going to take this Real Techniques expert face brush it's almost like a perfect skin tone match and go ahead and blend it out I'm actually just going to take it and kind of dab it all around. As you can see, it blends into my skin perfectly. It's a little bit dark for the lighter areas of my face, but for the perimeter of my face, it's a perfect match. And I like this foundation because it is very long lasting and it has like a satin matte kind of finish. It has like a natural skin like finish so it won't make me look too too matte and too too done up because I don't want to go in there looking like I'm about to go do a photo shoot or something. So I really like the way it looks on the skin. And the coverage on this is also pretty pretty good. As you can see, it is a little bit, tiny, tiny bit dark, but that's okay. Most of my body will be covered. I don't really mind if my foundation is a little bit too dark if my chest isn't showing, because that's when you can really see that there's, it's not the right color. So I'll be in a t-shirt and pants and my chest will be covered probably this much. It's a button-up shirt. So nobody's really going to be able to tell that it's not the exact shade or that it's lighter than my chest. So I'm going to add some more to this side. Sit it on my computer. I'm literally just blending this all over into my skin. I 
as you can see that drastic color change right there so it is a little bit uh, dark for the lighter parts of my face I was debating whether I wanted to use this color or cappuccino and I probably should have used cappuccino now that I'm looking at how dark it is in some places on my face but you know it's okay it doesn't have to be perfect And again, don't forget your hairline. Alrighty. So the coverage on this is like medium. You can still see my imperfection shining through a little bit. And so I'm going to add just a little bit more on the cheeks as usual. You guys know I have to do this with almost all my foundations. So I'm just going to go in on my cheeks and literally gently dab and tap over my imperfections. And my under eye bags. I've been getting under eye bags lately. I've also been having some crazy lucid dreams. But I feel like my dreams make me wake up tired because so much is happening in them. Someone's texting me. Oh, that's Corey. Mm -hmm. A little bit more on this side. So today I have a teaching fellows panel thing I have to do, but it's like online, like a conference call type setup. And then after that, I have to actually leave that early or sign out of it early so I can make it to work on time. So that's supposed to start at 1.30 and last an hour, but I have to be at work at 2.30 and it's a 10 minute drive to get there with minimal traffic. So yeah. And that's it for today, which I'm fine with. As long as I'm working and being a productive member of society, that's all that really matters to me. I just did not want to be in the house doing nothing all day. Alrighty, so I feel like I've got the coverage that I want now. I'm just kind of pressing all over to make sure that it's well blended. That there are no lines of demarcation anywhere. And that's how it's looking right now. And this stuff does kind of take a little while to set into your skin and not be so shiny. So I'm going to put that back in my drawer. I'm kind of just using whatever's left over on the brush and going behind the ears and down the neck. So while this is kind of setting and drying into my skin. I'm going to go ahead and work on my eyebrows and as usual I'm using a black eyeliner pencil and this one's from NYX and it's one of their Cole Kajals. I love this um, eyeliner pencil. It's really really pigmented and it works super super well. I feel like I should go ahead and like powder my face before I do my brows though but I know it's gonna not look so shiny, it just has to set into the skin. So 
And because it's still setting, I'm trying not to put my hand on my face while I do my brows. And at this job, I have to wear a hat. So the way my hair looks is kind of irrelevant because I have to wear a hat. Eventually, I'll get a visor, but they ran out of visors. But I'm just carefully like outlining my brows as usual. And I'm following their natural size, which I have very thin brows, but I think they fit my face. Like so, I have these two dark lines. And of course, I'm going to go in and blend that out using my e.l.f. small precision brush. My legs are falling asleep. Ugh. I have my legs like over the end bedpost. Uh, I just have to show you. It's not a very ladylike position. <laughs> but it's like causing my legs, well, like the circulation in my legs is like, ugh. they're falling asleep. Yeah, I really don't know. This is where I get the best light though. I don't know where else to film in my room. So, or in the guest room. I don't have a room anymore. I used to film out in the um, family room. You know, I may just have to go out there, especially since no one's home. Because everyone is working. And my sister's at school. But when school is over, there may be interruptions, like people walking in the background and stuff. Which is why I wanted to try and find... Which is why I wanted to try and find... A place in here I could film. Alrighty. So that is how the brows are looking. I think I'm ready to move on to the tail end. I like the shape. And I'm literally just going to follow what's already there. The air just came on and I have a candle lit and all of a sudden like the smell of the candle just like whoosh came over here. It's a candle in African sunset and it smells so good. Alrighty. I'm just going to blend out the tail just a little bit.
All right, so the brows are done. Now I'm just gonna take the powder brush that I have and it has some leftover powder on it from yesterday, but I'm not going to add any powder to it. I'm just gonna use whatever's left over from yesterday and just go over my face lightly. Just to kind of assist this in setting. So you guys can see what it looks like before powder. Just to kind of help it mesh into my skin. So this is the finish that this has without being set. It's kind of a satin matte finish. It looks very skin-like. And I really like that about this um, foundation. It's not too done up. So I'm going to take this same brush and I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the color C7 nut brown which looks like this and I'm going to essentially kind of highlight using this powder I'm not gonna hit the places in my face that do not get extremely oily and for me my entire t-zone my t-zone and my forehead all of my forehead gets really oily and so I'm kind of pressing and patting this under the eye. As you can see, it adds a really nice highlight to the face. And I'm going to go on my eyelids because my eyelids get oily. And all the way up to the brow. But just this whole area. As you can see, it gives a nice little highlight. And I'm going all the way back to the hairline because this helps make the face look a little bit wider. And I have an oblong face, so I don't mind my face looking wider. This also helps to bring out my cheekbones. Sorry, my computer's shaking. I have the powder on my computer. I also get really oily around my nostrils and the upper lip region and on the chin. And to further get into the nostril area, I'm going to take the brush I used to blend out my foundation and really pack this on the side of my nose and on my upper lip. because I have a long first day of work ahead of me. I'm just going to use this brush again to go even more under my eyes to really get in there. And I am pressing it under my eyes. And I'm doing it in the same shape that you would apply concealer. So I'm going under the eye and I'm bringing it down into that triangle shape and then back up towards the hairline. And the last place is going to be my forehead. And I'm just going to use this brush because it's smaller so I can place the product way more precisely using this brush because it's not as big as the e.l.f. powder brush. 
and I am just pressing the powder into my forehead. Making sure I get in between the brows, right above the brows, and into the forehead. This helped prevent fine lines in my forehead as well because I do have forehead fine lines and small little wrinkles in the forehead. Because I wrinkled my forehead when I placed the axe I realized. And I'm going to go down the nose. Alrighty, so you can see that my face has a little bit of a, a highlight to it. The outer most parts are a little bit darker, the center is a little bit lighter. All by using powder. And to accentuate the cheekbones even more, we're going to go right here, right under the jaw. In this area. And that will help to accentuate the cheekbones more and the contour because I'm not going to contour I am going to use bronzer on my cheeks though just like so Alrighty, so that's that. I'm going to let this stuff kind of bake right there and I'm going to blend everything out a little bit later. But that's essentially it for foundation. Now I'm going to go on foundation and brows, which you see this is a really nice base. It looks really nice. Matches my skin really well. So I'm going to see how this holds up today. This may be my new like summer foundation routine. Now I'm going to go on with my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze Bronzer. And a Coastal Scents like angled fluffy brush and this is goat hair and I'm gonna go right on the cheeks right on the apples of my cheek and kind of right on my um what is this cheekbone there we go just to add some color to the face nothing too extreme just to add warmth to the face because right now I'm looking kind of flat, just a little bit. This has some nice shimmer to it, so it'll look really pretty. My sister's home. Hi, Dominique. I'm recording a video. But I heard you coming up the stairs, so I heard your keys. Like I said, I'm applying this directly to the cheeks and the cheekbones. Ignore this pimple. Stress. Alrighty. And because the skin looks, it looks so pretty. So fresh. For the eyes, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes with a gold eyeshadow and do mascara. And for the lips, we're just going to do a lip balm because I'm going to be speaking to customers and talking a lot, so I need my lips to really be moisturized. And I'm going to go over top of that with a NYX Butter Gloss because those are really like hydrating and long-lasting. So that's how this looks. So that's my bronzer. And now to highlight the inner corner of my eye, I am going to use my <laughs> baked bronzer. I might like blank for a second. My baked bronzer from Black Radiance in the color Ginger Snap. 
and I use this to highlight with but um I just love the way my skin's looking now I don't look like I want to highlight it would be too much for making sandwiches oh my gosh my lips are so dry mm. <laughs> now I'm just taking a small brush like this I'm just gonna go right in the inner corner And this gives a nice pop of gold. And it really helps you look a little bit more awake. And it's something really fast and really simple. Like so. Mmm. My lips are peeling. Now I'm just going to take that flat top foundation brush and blend over everything on the face. Make sure everything's blending together. Oh, I forgot that this has glitter on it. Is this one that has glitter on it? One of my brushes has glitter on it and I was not happy that I got glitter all over my face. I think this might be it because I'm seeing glitter. Oh well. Too late now. And just blending down the neck, under the chin, behind the ears too. And for lips, I'm going to use this EOS lip balm. Mine's really, really old and dirty. I'm really gone in there. Really getting those lips. And I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu, one of my favorites. You guys know I wear this all the time. It's just a nice, light, natural pink color. Add a little sheen to the lippies. And last but not least, would be mascara. I honestly feel like I don't need to do this on camera because that would just make this video even longer than what it needs to be and I'm under 30 minutes which makes me really happy. But you guys see the way that this foundation looks on my skin. It looks great. I can't believe I ever stopped wearing it. You see the highlight with the powder and how the gold and the inner tear duct, how it just really opens up my eyes and makes me look welcoming and inviting. Do I look like somebody that would make your sandwich? <laughs> Anyways, that concludes this video. Like I said, the last thing to do is add mascara to the top and bottom lashes, which I'm going to do off camera. If you like to see the finished look, I'll be posting pictures on my Instagram and on Snapchat. And that is at oh so very sexy. So I'll see you guys in the next video and wish me luck at my first day of training. Again, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.